welcome back to the lockdown coming to you from Liverpool College. I'm Mr. S, this I'm is Mr. Mr. A, and it's now time for Matt. So, thank you so much yesterday for doing our place value challenges and for answering them. The answers to yesterday's tests are below, so you can find that link and find your answers. You can mark it yourself, mark it with your parents or whoever's looking after you. That would be really good. Thank you as well to the people who sent us in um, some evidence of their work. That was really good to see. Some fantastic maths work that's been handed in here is Isabella's um, photos of all the numbers that she's been working on. Great job, Isabella. We also have, again, we don't have a name for this one, we do have a picture of somebody who's listening to the audio file, listening to those numbers, and unfortunately listening to my voice. Sorry about that, but well done to you. And finally, this goes to the Sheridans, a uh, photo of them doing the checks. So if you're going to send one of those our way, only joking, gee, this is commission free. Today's lesson is all about ordering. Okay, yeah, so that's a double pepperoni, um, a mighty meaty with cheesy bites, and a bottle of Pepsi Max, please. How much is that? Yeah, that's fine, thank you. Again, not that type of ordering. You can read and write numbers now, but what can you do with them? Well, one skill you could do is ordering them, and we're gonna look at ordering them in ascending order or descending order. Now, what do those words mean? Well, we're not gonna get that professor back from before because he was rubbish. So we'll just tell you ourselves using some Joe Wick style movements. So we can Everybody. ascend, which means to go up. Everybody join in. And you can descend, which means to go down. So let's do it again. Ascending, Ascend. descending. descending. Join us. Ascending, ascending descending. descending. Ascending, descending. Ascending, descending. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm burning my quads, man. Oh. So that is ascending and descending. So we might ask you to put your numbers in ascending order, so you go from the smallest up to the biggest, or we may say descending order, so you go from the biggest to the smallest, okay? Let's see. Now, Mr. S is gonna put on our board three three-digit numbers. There's a confusing sentence for you in the morning. So, let's have a look at these numbers. Thank you very much, Mr. S. Now, the first skill when ordering numbers, we're gonna do these numbers both ascending and descending. So, so ascending from smallest to largest, descending largest to smallest. So, the first thing we do is we look at the left hand digit in each number, because that, if you remember from yesterday, is the hundreds, and it has the highest value, so that's the best place to start. So, here we've got four hundreds, here we've got two hundreds, and here we've got three hundreds. And straight away, we should be able to say, regardless of the tens and the ones, which ones of those numbers are the largest and which ones are the smallest? So because we're starting with ascending, we're going from smallest to largest, which one of those, Mr. S, has got the smallest value in its hundreds column? It would be this one, because it has a two in the hundreds column. Two hundred and nine. Absolutely. Which one would come next? We've used 209, we've got 451, and 362. 362. Absolutely. Which leaves us with Mr. S, 451. And it's as simple as that. To go to descending, we just reverse it. 451 is the largest, and 209 is the smallest. Let's make our numbers slightly bigger before we set you off. Thank you, Mr. S. So, let's look at the left-hand column again, the one with the largest value. Here we've got a six, but it's in the thousands column. Here we've got a nine, but he's not even in the thousands column. He's in the smaller value column of the hundreds. And finally, another six in the thousands column. So ascending, smallest to largest, straight away we should spot that these two numbers have thousands in them, whereas this number doesn't have any thousands. So straight away, this number is smaller. What is this number, Mr. S? 975. And yet, look very closely because it's easy to get caught out. You might just look at the first number automatically and think, well, that's a nine. That must be bigger. But no, look again. It is a three digit number. The others are four digit numbers. So Mr. A is right. That nine has a value of 900. I think in the thousands column. So automatically, this must be smaller than those two. Brilliant. Now let's look at the next two because they've both got six thousands. Now, when you get a digit, that's the same in those columns. We must take a jump to the right and go to the next place value. So these have both got 6,000, so let's jump to the hundreds. This one's got 300. What's yours got, Mr. S? 300. So can we separate them now? We can't do it yet. They've both got 6,000, they've both got 300. So we take another jump 
to the right and we go to the tens. Mine's got 6,302 tens. What's yours got, Mr. S? Five tens. So, remember we're going from the smallest. Who's got the small number? I've got two tens. Mr. S has got five tens. It's me. So my number is 6,328 is the next smallest, followed by Mr. S's 3,600. I'm running out of space. Yeah, it's there. 54. And remember, for descending, you reverse those numbers. Just like that. Okay, so that is how you order numbers. No matter how large they are, start with that left-hand digit, the one with the greatest value, and check what you've got in that column. Make sure, though, how many digits for each number. Don't get caught out if one is automatically shorter and doesn't have yeah. a digit in that larger place value column. Look closely. Now, your tasks are below, as usual, but we also have a challenge. A brilliant challenge. This is one that we really like, okay, because we wanted to think where could we find quite large numbers that we can order, and we thought football stadiums, okay? Not and, currently, though. Yeah, don't go, don't go for the last many round of matches when they are behind closed doors, because you just Zero. have zeros, okay? But... Typically, football stadiums will have tens of thousands of people in there. So, using the internet, research some football stadium attendances, maybe the team that you love, or maybe a different team, or you could compare teams, okay, and find out what their attendances are. And when you write those down, you can then put them into an order. So, maybe you could have, you know, Liverpool, Manchester United, Manchester City, Arsenal, Chelsea, and then order their attendances, okay, and we'll see who comes out on top. And do them both ways, ascending and descending. That's all for today. See you later. See you.